Hey everybody, it's June 27th and um, you're here at the Chaos Weekly Community Call. We have so many new faces here. Welcome to everybody who is new and, and old or, you know, I don't wanna say old, but you know, been here a while. Um, if you can do us a favor and oh, actually I should say, um, just a reminder, this meeting is under the Chaos Code of Conduct. And so um, just keep that in mind as you interact yeah. with us here. Um, and also, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, this meeting, in case you've not been here before and you're not really sure what's going on. Um, this meeting is for us to just come together as a giant chaos community, regardless of what chapter you're in or where you live. Um, you're welcome to come That's here. We just chat as a group. So um, welcome. welcome. Good um if you could tell us what your favorite pepper is and as ruth mentions um it was from the newcomer hangout we had a big long discussion about peppers so tell us what your favorite one is i know what mine is because i'm a big wimp mine is absolutely just a bell pepper i'm i'm at the level zero that's where i live but i see some very hot peppers nobody's said ghost pepper yet that's like uh I don't know. Scotch is pretty yeah, close, right? <laughs> Scotch is pretty up there. <laughs> oh, there, Anita, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Katie's below the bell pepper. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, okay, we have a really short agenda. So if there's room at the end and people want to bring things up, by all means, this is an open agenda. You can add whatever you want onto it. Um, as long as it's somewhat related to chaos, although that's debatable at times, clearly from the peppered conversation. But um, yeah, so first thing on the list is just a reminder to everybody, we have a um, DEI event Badger meeting after this meeting today. So if you um, are curious about what it takes to be a Badger, if you um, want to learn even more about the event badging um program and like what it's all about feel free to join me right after this and maybe ruth right after this meeting um, we are looking for new badgers um, we've had uh, uh, several folks kind of take a break from doing that for a little while and we've just been having a steady stream coming through surprisingly which usually in the summer it kind of dies down so uh, i'm a little uh concerned is is a strong word but i would like to have a, a few more of us in that pool for the fall because in the fall we will have a spike usually around september october so i just want to make sure we have enough of us around so that the folks who've been doing it a while don't feel overwhelmed or like oh hey here's another one because <laughs> there's there's we've had quite a few come through so um if you are interested let uh let me know or just show up at that meeting do we have a doc describing the process and time commitment? That's an excellent question. Um, I don't know that it's been updated. It's pretty old. So it's a great question, Sophia. Tell you what, let me- yeah, I can tell you for, from a time commitment perspective, for a lot of the events that have been through this process before, um, it's usually really, which is most of the events, like this is their, you know, second time through the, or third time or fourth time through the process. And so from a review perspective, it maybe takes 15, 10 or 15 minutes to just do things like confirm, you know, that the code of conduct is posted to confirm that they're attentive to family friendliness. Um, and in fact, many of the events that say come from the Linux Foundation kind of have a uh, uh, similar look between them. So like, you, you know, you kind of always know what you're looking for across those events. So it, it does make the review process pretty quick. And you would probably get maybe one a month. Um, that's kind of the goal is to just have folks get one a month. Um, occasionally it's it's one it's two but um i really don't want to give anybody more than that so yeah so 15 minutes once a month it's not super terrible i would suspect if we have if we can ever get like another like more folks to engage some of the uh, events that are going through the process for the first time require more time just because there's more questions that the reviewer asks in the issue 
you know, like, could you explicitly point out where your code of conduct is located and make sure you get that to the website? And they, you know, there's just a little bit more back and forth with an issue. Yeah, and to Matt's point, um, those folks who do come from the Linux Foundation already know what we ask for. And um, like he said before, there's they kind of come from a central place. They like keep all their code of conduct and those kinds of things in one central place and then all the events linked to that. So it makes it a lot easier. Um, and that is the bulk of the applications that we're getting right now. So we, you could you could expect maybe maybe 20, 25 minutes at the very most to, to have um, to do an application, I think. And you don't have to sign up for this. Uh, you can just show up. Um, and if nobody shows up, then I will go take a nap or something. I don't know. I'll figure something to do. Um, but I hope that somebody shows up <laughs> so that we can do that and build that team out a little more. Does anybody have questions um, about that? Fair enough. I don't. All right, let's move on then. Um, this is important. No community meeting next week. Um, it is the 4th of July here in the US, which is a holiday for us. So um, we're taking the day off and that means all meetings have been canceled. So if you come here next week, there will be nobody here but you. So maybe All of them. not do that. I mean, you could hang out if you wanted, I guess. I don't care, but you'll be by yourself. So um, yeah. And I'll remind everyone again in the newsletter and on Slack. Also, there there will be a, a reminder too. Um, and the next one is also along those same lines. The App Ecosystem Group. Um, they're taking a break July and August, and they're going to reconvene in September. I think it's September twelfth um, is when they're coming back. So um, I think that that group. Is there anybody? Um, there's Georg on here. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything you want to say about that, Georg? Are you you all are doing like kind of a reset, from what I understand? Is that right? Yes, I think that's right. Okay. So, um, yeah, if you'd like to be a part of that, those discussions there, um, feel free to come back in September <laughs> and join the group. Um, you can also connect with them on Slack. I'm not sure uh, how active those folks will be in that Slack channel, but you're welcome to pop in and say hi and ask questions. And if someone's around, they'll answer. Georg. Is there is there any way that like the work you're doing in the app ecosystem could connect with perhaps some of the other context working groups we have? It might be. I think we've come to this question several times over the years. Mm -hmm. And in a way, the app ecosystem working group is the context of the app ecosystem. So the GNOME and KDE yep. communities. OK. OK, I'm just trying to think about like efficiency in meetings, that's all. Yes. Um, I think in September when we resume, we can align because I'm also a little out of touch what the what the other context working groups are doing. Sure. It's hard for me to answer how it would align. Okay, fair enough. Anybody have questions about that? All right, rock on. Um, this is big news. Our governance doc was approved by the chaos board in the meeting last week. Um, so hooray, hooray. This has uh, been finalized. Um, yeah. So I guess the next step is for us to take this doc and put it on the website and in our repo, our governance repo. Is that correct? I think so. Here's the link. I'll put it in the chat too. If you haven't read this, it's really helpful to read and um, to understand kind of how we've not reorganized, but kind of kind of reorganizing a little into these um, context working groups. That's a, a somewhat newish thing for for chaos, um, with the exception of the app ecosystem group has been around for a while. So um, 
So yeah, take a look at that. And this should help you also, if you're new to chaos, this will help you kind of understand how we organize ourselves and how we govern. And um, yeah. My dog's snoring in the background. I'm really sorry. Is that what that is? That, okay. <laughs> I hear that. I actually hear, hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She gets really loud. <laughs> they're either snoring or barking or some kind of something to make sure I, I remember that they're around. So yes, I do remember. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I actually didn't know it's that loud. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> you, can, you actually can hear it like <laughs> straight up. <laughs> Uh, she's a good girl. <laughs> sorry. Wow, that's, uh... sorry. Okay, sorry. We're trying to talk about serious things here. Yes, very serious. And um, so, anyway, is there questions on this, or what do we? Is there uh, comments? Does anyone want to say anything about it? <laughs> uh, no, no, I can't stop funny. hearing your dog. That's uh Which one is it? It's Lucy. It's she's the one that you see like in my Zoom avatar with yeah. sticking out. Lucy has three legs. She's been she's had cancer. She's been through a lot, so I just let her snore. <laughs> yeah, that seems reasonable. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No, it's, uh, it's Okay, I'm bringing it in. So All the right. <laughs> The governance doc I, that will um, that will be on the chaos community site. Is that right? I, I think. I mean, I I would assume. Yeah. So. Yeah, but, um, I guess I'll just say Elizabeth, Kevin. I I mean, I assume would that go? Where would that go? Actually, Kevin, do you think? Uh, probably just the knowledge base. Although if. Uh, if it were to go into the website navigation, it would be in the uh, in the about about like in uh, here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, we could it could probably just go in the knowledge base, uh, so that the knowledge base will have a a folder that'll be chaos governance basically. You think there would be a like a <clears throat> say off of. Like governing board there would be a link to it or no real need i mean yeah, it's, it's a good place to put it um it's probably not the only place to put it but it should be i guess i don't know it's like i don't want to clutter the menu system on the website but it should be available somewhere <clears throat> we could we could maybe link to it from the uh yeah from the governing board or from the uh the about page yeah maybe about that might make a little yeah. more sense yeah i think uh, you're right so i just don't want to like be adding menu items for every document that we have but but primarily it would live primarily it's, it would live in the knowledge base and it would be searchable okay. through the website to the knowledge base so hmm. yeah and I, I think yeah, i think it's an important enough doc to put on the about page as a link as well but that's about it. Don't add it to a menu because I said it before. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, we can figure out where to link it, link it from, and uh, uh, maybe give that some thought. It'll be it'll it's easy enough to add. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. That's perfect. Um, okay, the next one says Fossey updates. Uh, I was just curious, like the table, like Elizabeth, like I think you have a banner, maybe? <laughs> yeah, there's like um, one oh, of these retractable cool. big ones um, that we're ordering. And Kingsley and team, hooray, hooray, have designed an amazing one. Have you I, ordered it already? I haven't ordered it. Uh, I'm going to this week. Um, okay. It just has to be in by Friday, I think. So I was going to order it tomorrow or later today. I think he, they just finalized the design th this morning. So. Okay. Can you pull it up? It's pretty nice. Uh, it is nice. I don't think I have it handy. Let me. I'll, I can stop sharing. It. Okay, you get it. I have it on the. Otherwise, y'all yeah. will watch me just go into the bowels of GitHub and yeah. So, 
Um, so yeah, so we'll have a banner. We have stickers that um, I don't have any in here. Maybe they're in the other room. Um, but we have chaos stickers. We have the chaotic stickers that Chaos Africa designed also. So I hope I ordered enough. I guess we'll see. Um, we're also hoping to have, just as an aside, we're hoping to have a booth um, at All In, uh, not All In, All Things Open in October. We've been approved for a booth there as a media partner to them. So um, we'll get use out of these things, I guess is my point. We are just right now going to have a regular tablecloth. Just, to, I don't, I mean, unless somebody has strong feelings about us having a chaos specific tablecloth. I don't have strong feelings about tablecloths <laughs> at all. <laughs> That's fair. <Me> <laughs> uh, yeah, here it is. So amazing. So that'll be, we'll have a table and then that'll be kind of like to the side and, and behind us a little, depending on how much space we have. I just found out today we have six foot tables and four feet on either side to the next table. So yeah, hopefully we'll have room for that. And then I will make a sign up. I know several of, there are several chaotics who are going to be out at Fosse. So um, I will, I still need to do that actually. Let me put another action item for me so I don't forget to do a sign up sheet so you can you all can grab a slot if you want to staff the booth for a little while that's great if not that's also valid um do uh do a sign up sheet for booth size. ruth had a com uh, question go for it ruth yeah it, it was about the the banner. So I know for Chaos Con Africa, we kind of like had a a QR code where people could like join the Slack community or do the QR code didn't work <laughs> because we needed to like kind of upgrade the it. So I was wondering if we could also do that. Like yeah, something like this. We had this, but unfortunately it didn't eventually work because we had to upgrade the, and it was just too expensive to just get the QR code. So, but this would be great because it, it would help like people join the community easily, just can and join Slack. Like put it on the banner somewhere, Ruth? Yeah. Yeah, maybe blue. Okay. Could you put a comment in the? Yeah, I'll put a comment on the issue. Yeah, on the issue. Actually, it looks like Elizabeth's doing it. So. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I I yeah, like that I... idea. I was just gonna say it might be easier to have it on the table because then it's like if the banners behind the table. And if someone comes up to the table, they can just scan it in front of them versus having to come around and scan the banner. Um, but I do like that as a concept to help people find our, our Slack or whatever it's linking to. Hmm. Ruth, did you say that the QR code didn't work though? Yeah, we had like, so I think when Kinsley generated it, um, he used like a free version and then it just stopped working and it was towards like the middle of the event we realized that the QR code wasn't working so and they wanted us to upgrade it something it's just looking too expensive like the company that generated the yeah code. yeah the so maybe it would be uh better on a printout that we had on the table that way we could point people to whatever we wanted yeah maybe it could be like on a printout but i think we'd, we should use like we should take notes to use a free one so that <laughs> we don't yeah. have that issue okay so i'm going to actually hold on this and um because we, we have the website here but then if we want them to go to something specific like um a, Slack, a specific Slack channel, we can have different QR codes or we can do, we have a little more flexibility, I think, with the printouts that we can have because we can kind of control that a little more instead of just having one that we will always have to use at every event. 
on the banner. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is yeah, it makes sense. And this is reusable what we can mm -hmm. use in it. All right, rock on. Um and also uh, I can look into that a little bit more. Um check into QR codes for hotels. Um, yeah, we also didn't decide on a raffle. We, we were talking about that a couple weeks ago, but we didn't really decide. So does anybody have any more thoughts about that? What's the context for the raffle? I don't know. I, think I must have missed that call. <laughs> I don't know. We were thinking maybe to have a raffle of some sort and like to, to enter, you had to fill out a little form that said, how are you using metrics or what metrics are you using or something like Oh. Not, not like just, you know, get their business cards, but just, you know, kind of have something more meaty there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that I think giving people that kind of fun incentive doesn't sound like a bad idea. <clears throat> Would we have it like uh, just like a handwritten thing? Like I can I can have little cards printed that just have like the questions and they write them out and put them in a fishbowl. Or would we do it electronically, like a Google form? I would guess the form would be simpler, because then someone could scan it and fill it out on their own time. Yeah, but maybe that's one of think, our QR codes. Yeah, it could be. But there's also, I don't know, there's just something like weirdly satisfying about filling out something and putting it in a bowl. Yeah, agreed. So, then, so if, it's, if it's a raffle and we're going to be selecting one, then I would say physical. But that does involve more printing. But like maybe it could be like a small card. Yeah. Because if you're going to kind of like do a, a draw at some point, then I don't know how you would, we'd have to just do like a, a random number generator to pick someone on a form. And that's like, I don't know, there's something about that that always feels rigged, even though it's not. Yeah. <laughs> but I do have a fish in your hand in a bowl, if not. <laughs> but I have to travel with a big fishbowl under my arm there, so. <laughs> you can ship it ahead of time, I suppose. I'd rather just uh, have people ask me about the fishbowl throughout the airports that I go through. Um, I could bring like a silly hat, but I don't know if that's really appropriate. And we didn't really decide. Um, okay, so we don't know print versus online form. And we didn't uh decide what prize either somebody put in kevin just put in lego raffle prizes seem to be pretty popular they do they do lego okay i'll check it i'll check it out um does that mean we need to settle on what that looks like today given that we have no meeting next week uh we could do it async i think um but i don't know in what channel would be the best the general channel seems kind of i don't know if i want to clog up the general channel you can use the the chaos con committee group true true but it's not everyone on this call i don't we don't need to make it exclusive it was just to not crowd the regular channel so we could pose it in both places maybe but that's, yeah now we're clogging two channels <laughs> but that one isn't that one isn't being used right now because we don't have an active chaos con that we're planning true when when is it it's like uh july 12th through the 18th i think okay. yeah and matt just so just so you know i did spend a lot of time researching custom plush snakes <laughs> yeah that's not easy it, no. it, it's not easy we might have to yeah. rethink the Find snake anything? Not really, not yeah. not easy. Like, yeah, not not. I tell you what, not without paying someone to just like design it and like go through and then order five hundred of them. Like mm -hmm. that was the thing. And some of the because I did look at the Etsy ones for a long time. Yeah. I went down that rabbit hole, and they're they're cool. They're like crocheted. Some are crocheted, but like it it's based on the color of yarn. So we would have to do like a Pantone match to our colors. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But yeah, we'd have to 
I didn't see anything that jumped out yeah. at me that was like, these are our colors. Here is a snake. Let me just order that. So <laughs> that's where I stopped. And like chaos is embroidered on the side mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. We, uh, we had discussed chaos frisbees at one point in the past as well. Although the uh, caveat there is that it needs to be a uh, uh, professional grade frisbee. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. right. What about uh, chaos lawn darts? <laughs> We're causing chaos <laughs> wherever we go. <laughs> I did go to a, sorry, I'm going to go off a, a little bit. I did go to a conference one time when they did give out Frisbees and it was in one of these really tall hotels that were open. Oh, so and I, I mean, can Frisbees see the next were just thing. flying down from the mm-hmm. top, like everywhere. Frisbees were everywhere. So I don't, I don't know if Fossey would appreciate it. <laughs> that would, that would chaos. be chaotic. It would be it chaotic. If they have an open lobby, I guess. It would be on brand. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So we can still think about it. Um, right now we're just giving out stickers at the booth, but if there's other kind of swag we want to give out um, to folks, we can certainly do that. But it, as long as it's just a logo on something, it's going to be a lot easier. See you later, Sophia. Um, Cause that's just super quick and relatively cheap, like, you know, normal swag, but we can, we can discuss that too. Yeah, and I think it should be something that you bring just because I mean, I'd be happy to ship something, but like as soon as it becomes international, like I don't know if <laughs> it it gets to where it needs to be sometimes. Yeah, true, true. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, you mean for the raffle prize? Yeah. Like, yeah, you yeah. Could say like, hey, we've got like a sweatshirt for you or something like that. Yeah. You know? True. But you have to be here. <laughs> to pick it up. Yeah, well, that's what I was asking. Like, I oh. couldn't get anything branded in time to get to you that would be nice. Oh, I see. Or the raffle would say, we'll ship it to you. But I got you. I got I've you. Been having shipped several things internationally that don't seem to make it. Mm-hmm. That would just be yeah. Not a good idea. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, okay, any other. Thoughts on Fosse? All right, rock on. Let's move on to the The magic website. Yeah, I just put that in there. I don't know if, I think, Kevin, you were tagged in it. It was just about the, there was a discussion that was happening with respect to the project badging or maybe event, just badging in general, I think about making the website like accessible on a phone. And I just, I don't know, I'm not familiar with like, there were some terms that were used as to how that gets done. And I just wanted to put that on your radar. I know that you don't do the badging websites, you know what I mean? And they're gonna go to external (coughs) sites, but it was just about thinking about how to have it available on a website or a browser as well as on a phone. Uh, yeah, the badging the badging website is a completely that is a completely separate project. Uh, I'm happy to if they if are they just needing to talk to someone about it or? Yeah, I I can try to go track down the issue like the GitHub issue, and um, I'll put it in this chat here. I just thought maybe you had done something like this before, and again, it was way out of my world of knowledge. Uh, so I I have. Uh, okay. A lot, a lot of that is, uh, uh, you know, moving, moving between, you know, different uh, kind of monitor sizes and mobile platforms, and that's that's all very dynamic now. So a lot of the, I don't know what tool they're using to build the website. Okay. Uh, but a lot of that's built into uh, the the capability to do a lot of that is built into the the, the tools we use anymore. So it's just kind of a matter of. Uh, making sure that you're uh creating the rules for that as you go along so uh i'm, I'm happy to talk to them about that uh, but once again I, like i said i'm i'm not sure what tool they're using to actually build the website i'll track it down i'll put it in here ruth did you have a question oh yeah i had that uh contribution to the conversation so for the badging websites they're using react 
And um, for for that particular issue, I think um, I think it was Caleb that brought it up. Um, someone was already like assigned to it, and <coughs> they had responded that they are currently working on it and have a PR in progress. So I know that Kings the, the designers have like the mobile page design already set. It was I think it was left for the developers to implement that design and make it responsive. So that issue had been pending for quite some time. So um the the person that was I think the person that was assigned to it responded and you know said they would be sending me PR soon. So I think that helps. Do you have that um do you have that issue? Ruth, I'm trying to find it. I yeah, can't. the link. Okay, let me let me get that. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Okay, that was it for that. I just wanted to bring that to people's attention. Okay, I put it in the chat. Thanks, Ruth. Any other comments on this? I'm just gonna drop this link in here so I don't forget that. Uh, okay. Um, the next one is about the knowledge base that Vinod mm -hmm. is working on and others. I, again, I just wanted to bring this to people's attention. So there are a number of us that are kind of taking a look at the knowledge base. Um, there were just some uh, I think a lot of documents that just needed to be rethought or uh, removed or included. So there's been quite a bit of of work in the knowledge base, and um, I can bring it up. So this, just so people know, this is the knowledge base. Whoops, not there. And so this just provides a lot of information about the project and things like governance and different chapters. And Vinod, amongst other people, are working on a number of just different pull requests to kind of consolidate and kind of refine the information that's in here to make it more easily accessible and findable for everybody. So just working to improve this whole area. That's it. Now, do you have anything to add? Yeah, no, we are good. Uh, I'm creating the different PRs for this. Like now, initially I created a big PR. Now I'm creating small PR so that anyone can review it and like comment it so that they're, so I'm doing it in a manageable chunk <clears throat> that, that can be easily reviewed. And you're tracking all those in a spreadsheet, right? Somewhere? Yes. Yes. Here is the link to the spreadsheet. In the chat. I'll just put that in here for yes. For reference. The spreadsheet is pretty massive, just so people know. It's like there's a lot going on in these uh like our current so, structure so it's going to be a lot smoother and um i guess maybe more consolidated in a way but also things change really quickly it will be consolidated <laughs> we had there was like as an example i think there was some redundancy in some of our documents that were on the website and in the knowledge base and mm -hmm. sure was. there was um mm -hmm. like <laughs> not even redundancy but Kind of the same document that said a couple different things located in different places so just working to to clean all of that up i think it was a it was a little bit difficult to tell what kinds of documents we were missing as well 
So one of the one of the benefits of, of doing this work is we are we're identifying some documents that we need to create uh, that'll help people uh, uh, do work in the project or join the project. So. And I would say for for a lot of the folks that are on this call, if anybody would like to kind of help as these PRs are merged and kind of respond if this is useful information or there appears to be problems, you know, recurring problems, that would be love, love feedback on any of that. Fantastic. We have nine minutes left. Who has topics we didn't discuss yet? I'm good. <clears throat> Always reminds me at the end of a like a class right? when the professor is like, "Okay, we have time. Who wants to keep talking?" <laughs> yeah, I always just uh, tell people we're done. It's okay. <laughs> we're done. Go like, I have nothing else for you here, but you're welcome to stay, and I'll answer questions for as long as you like. But. Uh, Goodbye to everybody else. Yeah. See, you, <laughs> see you later. Uh, I don't. I don't feel the need to fill the time. Like I don't get paid by the minute. <laughs> I just want to save space in case there is anything else, and I'm totally fine if there is not. Oh, Mary Blessing. Yeah, tour guide. Oops. Do you want to talk about that for a second? Oh, um, not really, but I just wanted to like um, know if you were able to like reach out to Jen and if Matt was able to reach out to um, think that was going in. It was. And how did the conversation go? Yeah. Yeah, I did reach out. I haven't heard back from her yet, but I think it's pretty late her time. So I reached out a little earlier in the day today. Um, I reached out last week, Mary Blessing, and they were traveling, I think. And so we're going to connect. It's, I think connect this week. Awesome. I mean, thank you for the office. Yeah, I had reached out to the wrong person, so. <laughs> but I, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't either. Okay, <laughs> let's figure this out. That's, <laughs> uh, that's my strategy is just to accidentally reach out to everyone in chaos. Yeah, well, if it works, it works. <laughs> Um, and for those who are new to this uh, meeting and new to chaos, you are welcome to reach out to Mary Blessing to take advantage of um, what we call our, our tour guides, which means that you will be connected one-on-one. Um, -on -one. You or someone with your same name will be connected one-on-one <laughs> -on -one with somebody um, who's in the tour guide program that will help you um, find your way and figure out what would be the best way for you to contribute and just kind of kind of help you navigate chaos a little bit better based on your skills, your interests, and what's available here. So don't hesitate to reach out to Mary Blessing to take advantage of that. And I think that's it. I don't think we have anything else. All right. All right. It was great to see everybody here. Yeah, good yeah, to see you all. Yeah, good to see Very everyone. Good. And we'll see you here, not next week. Don't come. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. We'll see you then. Take Bye. care, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.